Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to do a video today covering some of my favorite Batman animated projects and how I think these could be great for any sort of a revile or revamping. And this could be an adaption into live action, uh, it could be another form of an animated series. And while we already do have enough going on with Batman right now, maybe this is something more for the future or the far future for different Batman things that we could see come to life. And some of these are a little bit more of a literal adaptation. Some of them are just really loose. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. First up, Batman Beyond. I think this is one of the greatest projects of Batman that doesn't get enough time, only getting three seasons. I really think the idea of Batman Beyond is great, and I really think this is something that could be extremely futuristic. And since we've seen so much of Batman already, that's why I think more Batman Beyond is great because you have that older Bruce Wayne and then you have a new Batman with Terry McGinnis. So it's also pretty much bringing new life to the character. And then you have the concept of kind of the coach and player going at it. So I really like Batman Beyond. We even have that concept art that was thrown out and made public that I thought looked really great, almost giving some into the Spider-Verse vibes. I think it also could be adapted into live action. It would have to be a lot more grounded uh, than an animated format, but I still think a live action movie would be a great idea. It looked like we almost could have got this with Michael Keaton in a new Batman, but for whatever reason, that didn't go through as well. I think a live action TV show could be a great idea. Or you could even just do some sort of a revamp with the show. Maybe another animated show. Just to keep it going, it could be a continuation. It could be uh, just a totally new thing. But I really think there's a lot of substance there with the Batman Beyond. And it really would not make a whole lot of sense to not bring that back. Another similar one, The Dark Knight Returns. And while I do think we get bits and pieces of this with Batman versus Superman, I'd like to see more of the Bruce Wayne coming out of retirement part, uh, especially looking on part one. Some of those scenes where he really wants to have another go at it and we're really putting an emphasis on Bruce Wayne's age and how he's able to come back and counteract that. And I will say The Dark Knight Returns does have a lot more fantastical elements. I would like to see a grounded version of this, but just really seeing a really old version of Bruce Wayne trying to come back uh, in a more brute strength, more robotic version of Batman. And another one of my favorites, Mask of the Phantasm. I really think this also doubles as another origin story for Bruce Wayne, filling in on his origin, I think in a new way than we've got in some other versions. And then I really like Andrea Belmont's character as the Phantasm. And I think you also have a lot of good Joker moments in here as well. So I really think this could be neat. What I'm picturing for this is maybe a future live action movie adaptation of this I think would be really awesome. Or I think even if you wanted to kind of loosely apply this, I think Andrea Beaumont's character is really excellent. I think a future villain or a future uh, antagonist or some sort of side character could be the Phantasm. Maybe a little bit more of a grounded version. And another one of the classics that maybe doesn't get as much attention, but I really enjoy it, especially the idea, is Gotham by Gaslight. I think seeing Batman in a Victorian age and how he's not really able to have all of that tech uh, but still see how a Bruce Wayne slash Batman would operate in a time like this I think is extremely interesting. I mean, maybe you have some questionable things with him really still having that uh, grappling hook and him being able to use that. But I think you could maybe sideline something like that uh, and just have a more almost Sherlock Holmes version of Batman. I think this would be especially excellent for a live action movie, a live action TV show, or even if they just did more with the animation. And then another one, not really as good quality, but I still think there's elements there that could be successful, Batman Ninja. And while I do think it's really all over the place, I do think there is some room for some more anime feel of Batman. I think you get that a little bit here. It's just kind of funky with what the plot is doing exactly. 
And we've had some of this done for something like Star Wars with Visions. So I think kind of taking that angle, it could be, for instance, just a more anime style version of Batman. And you could do that with any sort of story. Or you could do more of that samurai style. You could maybe do Batman as a samurai, kind of a spinoff to how Batman would look in a Victorian era, more of a Sherlock Holmes version. You could maybe get that with more of a ninja or samurai version of Batman. Uh, but I think either way, that anime style should be something that they come back to at some point in the future. And then another project that I really like, I think Batman Bad Blood has a lot of good elements. I think maybe you have some of that with Gotham Knights. You have a bit of a difference in plot with Bruce Wayne actually being dead or being injured in this case. But I think either way, seeing that on the big screen would really be interesting. Or even the kind of concept behind Gotham Knights. I would like to see a version of Gotham where there isn't Batman for whatever reason and we're having to rely on really now the Bat family, whether that's a combination of Batgirl or Red Hood or some sort of a Robin. I really think that would be neat to see play out. And then following Red Hood, Batman Under the Red Hood, I think would be great for a live action movie. We really haven't gotten anything with Red Hood besides maybe some of the CW shows. So I think it is really time to get Jason Todd in a live action adaptation and I think his story by itself would be great in any combination with Batman uh, with the Joker. I think that would be really excellent if it was done properly and then I think even something that has the opportunity to show up as soon as the Batman sequel is Hush. It'd probably be hard to incorporate some of the plot points but I think maybe uh, the inclusion of Hush or Thomas Elliot. You could take Batman getting injured, for example, and do that with a combination of Hush as that main antagonist. I'm not sure if they're going to go the Mr. Freeze route, but I think him and Hush are the main two contenders. And then another one I think is a little bit different than uh, the animated projects I've covered here so far, but I would still say it's animation in terms of the cutscenes and stuff like that, uh, but I really think the Batman Arkham series is not only one of the best Batman video games, but I really think the story is excellent here, and I think even if you got a better continuation of that than what we've got recently with some of the video games, or maybe you just kind of focus on that universe and that style and you do more uh, with the animation. Maybe it's some sort of a proper sequel to it. Uh, maybe it's more of a prequel. Or you could even take uh, those characters, for example. I think Scarecrow is really done excellent. I think that version of Scarecrow would be really interesting to seeing that in live action or seeing another twist on that portrayal of the character. I think the Arkham Batman is one of the best versions we've got. Probably the strongest Batman. So I think seeing him in that sense would be really neat. Maybe if it was some sort of a live action adaptation, some sort of a TV show. If you focused on that Arkham angle or did more with Arkham Asylum, I just really think there's a lot there. And then another one of my favorite projects would be Batman Year One. I really am just interested in Batman's origin story and always like learning more about it and seeing more about it. You obviously do get bits and pieces of that in something like Batman Begins, but I really think a project that would be just solely focused on his origin would be really interesting even if we didn't even get to the point where he's in Batman and something like Batman Year One. I think that would be extremely interesting of uh, focusing on those five years where Batman was gone from Gotham. You could do a whole series and it could be multiple seasons long just going through that journey and all the different things he did in his training both mentally and physically and then you could have more seasons when he returns to Gotham and is really trying to figure things out. I think if we just slow down and focus on that by itself, I think that would be a great niche project for Batman. It'd probably be easier to do this in animated form, but I could see that going on for several seasons and we really get a 
uh, in-depth breakdown of Batman or Bruce Wayne's extended origin. We obviously know what happened to him in his childhood, and I've got bits and pieces of that with some other shows, but I really think just focusing on his origin in terms of all of the training that he underwent and all of the different things that he did independently would be an excellent project within itself. Uh, so those are my 10 projects that I really think should be adapted in some shape or form. But feel free to let me know your thoughts on this. If there's another project you guys like that should be adapted. Really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you later.